witness to Trump's first presidential physical last week said he received a perfect score in a test designed to detect early signs of memory loss and other mild cognitive impairment. In summary, its overall health is excellent. And the doctor said media speculation of Trump's mental state was misleading and wrong. People shouldn't be making those kinds of assessments about the president unless they've had the opportunity to get to know him and examine him. And, you know, in my opinion, that's just tabloid psychiatry. But there is room for improvement. He's three pounds heavier than he was in September 2016, the last time Trump revealed his weight to the public. That number puts Trump on the cusp of, but just under the obesity mark. So, he has been advised to make changes to his diet and do some more exercise to lose some weight. Reporters continue to be amazed that Trump is able to get away with eating greasy hamburgers and consuming soft drinks. Explain to me how a guy who eats McDonald's and fried chicks and all those Diet Cokes and who never exercises is in as good a shape as you say he's in. It's called genetics. I don't know. It's, uh, some people have, uh, you know, just great genes. Japanese public broadcaster NHK says its erroneous alert of a North Korean missile fired at Japan was sent by a staff member who meant to file a different news flash. NHK denied any mechanical flaw and says it's studying preventive measures. Yesterday's erroneous news flash said North Korea appeared to have fired a missile at Japan and that the government was warning people to shelter. NHK retracted the mistake within minutes and apologized on air and on other formats. It comes only days after a similar mistake was made in Hawaii. Some powerful words uttered in a Michigan courtroom as a four-day courtroom confrontation between hundreds of abuse victims and a former Olympic gymnastics doctor begins. Serena Diaram with this story. One by one, dozens of young women bravely stepped up in a Michigan court on Tuesday to confront their abuser. He's former USA Gymnastics team doctor Larry Nasser, who pleaded guilty of molesting scores of women in places like his home and office in November last year. Kyle Stevens was just six years old when the abuse began. You used my body for six years for your own sexual gratification. That is unforgivable. Perhaps you haven't figured it out by now, but little girls don't stay little forever. They grow into strong women that return to destroy your world. Donna Markham's daughter, Chelsea, felt like she hit a dead end. In um, 2009, she took her own life because she couldn't deal with the pain anymore. It'll be 10 years in March that I left my baby. She was 23 years old. She would have been 33 now. And every day I miss her. Every day. And it all started with him. You broke and shattered a lot of girls. You manipulated us to trust you because you're a doctor. And doctors do no wrong, only heal. I'm not a healer. With no choice but to listen, Nasser's seen here visibly shaken. He'll probably spend the rest of his life in prison. Prosecutors are seeking an additional 40-year sentence on top of the 60 years he's already serving after pleading guilty to child pornography charges. Judge Rosemary Akalina is expected to hand down a sentence this Friday. Serena Diaram, TVB News. Sports now, and at the Australian Open, Rafa Nadal advanced the third round after beating Argentina's Leonardo Maia in strict tickets. The scores were 6-3, 6-4, and 7-6. Nadal was a finalist last year down under. The Spaniard will next play 28th seed Demir Juma of Bosnia and Herzegovina. On the women's side, a big scare for Caroline Wozniaski of Denmark. The women's number two seed saved two match points against Jana Fett of Croatia. Wozniaski was down one to five in the deciding set before winning the next six games to advance to the third round. The 27-year-old is seeking her first major title. Fett ranked outside the top 100 with making her first appearance in a Grand Slam tournament. And a check of the weather before we go. Mainly cloudy with a few rain patches in the following couple of days. Expect a high temperature Thursday of about 23 degrees. And that's all the news for now. Thanks for watching TVB and have a very good night.